powers denied the federal government or the national government. There's a few powers that are listed in the Constitution, plus others that were added in the amendments. The Constitution, Constitution denies Congress the or the federal government to the power to grant titles of nobility, to violate the Bill of Rights, to pass a Bill of Attainer Law. That's where Congress would actually determine whether a person was guilty um, of a law, so that's not allowed. To pass an ex post facto bill or law where basically what you did something uh, you did it and it was legal and then all of a sudden Congress would make a law and say what you did was illegal and they put it in the past and because you did it you actually would be guilty. To suspend the writ of habeas corpus, this is the right to know your charges and you know what charges you have when you're in jail and you've been put in jail. So the only time you could suspend that is during times of civil war or insurrection. Uh, the federal government is denied the power to permit slavery or import slaves to impose export taxes on states or exports leaving the United States. Federal government may not change state boundaries. Federal government may not spend money from the Treasury without an appropriations bill that's passed. They can't uh, deny the citizens a right to vote based on race, color, previous servitude, or you cannot deny citizens a right to vote based on gender. These are the ones that are listed, that are denied the national government or Congress or the President or the Supreme Court. So these are denied the national government, which are very, very important. And these, some of them were in the original Constitution and some were added by it.